Welcome back to this clown's garage. This is a series of my brake videos. So I have a lot of videos in my channel for different cars, how to do their brakes. So check out my channel and subscribe. Now this is a 2006 Infiniti FX35. And to do the front brakes on this car, I'm gonna do front rotors and pads. If you do just pads, you can always just check out the pad section of this video. Now what you need to do this job is, uh, you need a catch can for your brake fluid. You need brake fluid, obviously. You need C big C-clamps, or one big C-clamp. Little mallet, or a little hammer, a little pry bar, your petroleum jelly. Oh, actually, what the hell is that doing over there? Anyway, don't mind that. You need a 17 millimeter uh, wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench. You need 17 millimeter socket. Uh, you'll need a three quarter inch socket and a 13 16 socket. And a hanger for your, I use a close hanger, opened up close hanger, or you could use like a bungee cord or rope or something to hang the caliper if you do the rotor. Um, and caliper grease, you can get from your auto parts store, uh, break quiet, a little pry bar, little flathead or whatever, take the cap off, and that you're not going to use here either. That goes with my jelly. So let's go ahead and start this video. Alright, use a little flathead screwdriver to pop the cover off. Those are 13 sixteenths. Alright, now you turn the wheel to all the way to the right so you have access to the back, to the bolts. So first thing you do is, you put some lube, or croil, or WD-40, onto the bleeder screw. While the caliper is still on the car, you just take the nipple off, squeeze that nipple, twist it. Alright, 10 millimeter bleeder screw, so you put your bleeder in there. Alright, so just crack that open and close a little bit down so you have it ready when you are uh, ready to squeeze in the piston, the pistons. At this point, you just stick your screwdriver in the middle where the vented part of the rotor is and push it in so you can push the piston in a little bit. It'll be easier to take the caliper off. Okay, now first thing you do here is just a 17 millimeter slider. So you take that off, and now you can just push it out, and the whole caliper just slides right out. You push it out like that, and that's where you could hang the slider, the caliper now. Hang it through the coil of the strut, through the bolt, caliper bolt over there, or oh, wherever you find a spot, you do it through the middle right there. Just let it hang. You don't want it to hang from the rubber line. Alright, now that's a three quarter inch socket right there to take the caliper bracket off the spindle. And it drops on the floor just like that. <laughs> and now your rotor can come right out. Alright, now this assembly here, you just pop out the disc brakes and make sure you note how the new the old ones are so you can put the new ones in the same way. Let's take this slider off here. You just take this boot down, you pull down the foreskin, I mean the boot, and and this should be free, this should move back and forth easily just like that. So you go ahead and clean. And a rag. And 
Now get your brake caliper grease. Lube that puppy up. The more lube, the better. It's always the case. And you pop this in. Just push it down until the air comes out. Put the lip over so it seals the fluid. And the slide is all lubed and ready for action. All right, now you take your brake cleaner and you spray it all over these brackets here. You wipe it down and you could use a little bit really fine sandpaper here because this is where the brake pads slide back and forth. Make sure there's no debris on here so it's not rough. that and you can use some compressed air to clean that off or again brake brake cleaner no left in there and these are actually good so just go ahead now and put some brake caliper grease on there Don't go too crazy with this. You want to put in the grooves in there and over there. And a little bit over here. Like I said, don't go too crazy with this stuff. Now we can do the pads. All right, now put the new rotor on and get your brake parts cleaner thoroughly front and back also to hold it in place what I like to do is sometimes you have a screw you could put there this one doesn't so I just put a nut on it just to hold it in place and now just wipe that down with a rag and sit down the other side now put the bracket back on Take those two bolts off. Slide it in and move this bracket around just so you can catch it. And it caught. And now these are three quarters again. So we're gonna. You can put them on hand tight for now. Now you can put the brake pads on. Put some disc brake quiet in the back of the new pads. Only where the melt to melt contact is. Now that you got everything in place, you take the brake pad and make sure, like I said, the crescent shape goes inside and this is the outside of the pad. So you pop this tabs in here, just like so, just like that. Now you put the other pad in the back. Just like that. All right, now you want to push these pistons in. So you put the old brake pad on here. And you take a huge ass C clamp and you start turning this down. Make it snug for now because what you want to do is you want to bleed the the brake fluid out. So you make it kind of a little snug, but don't push it in. And what I like to do here is you can also do this with one clamp, but I like to put two because it has two pistons. It'll be faster this way. You just put one on each side. As you can see, it's got two grooves here, so you can put two, two C clamps in. That's what it looks like. Again, like I said, you can only you could do one clamp at a time. I just put two because I'm a lazy clown. I like to do it fast. And now at this part of the game, just put your 10 millimeter wrench on. Put your bleeder kit on and crack this bad boy open uh, 
All right, that's open. And now you can go ahead and compress this. And as you can see here, fluid's gonna start coming out as you start winding these down. This is how it looks on the top. These are really easy to compress. And compress it all the way in. As you can see here, both pistons are all the way in. So now, you could start backing it out. But before you do that, you could go ahead and tighten the bleeder screw on either side. Now these pistons are fully compressed. All right, now when you take these out, these are fully compressed in. Now be careful sometimes, this rubber boot, it goes over the face here, you don't want that. You want the face of the piston clean. Also, inspect the boots. If this is cracked or torn over here, the boot, then replace it because uh, what is going to get in there, it's going to seize the piston and you're not going to have uh, breaking on one side and this side of the caliper. So that's another thing to look out for when you do that. Now if you're doing just the, the pads, you could, uh, you know, just do it like this. You don't have to take this whole bracket off. But since we did the rotor, we took the bracket off too. Now you just slide this bad boy in, just like that. Then you, this slides down. And you have to go over this head over here to put the 17 millimeter bolt on the slider head bolt and you just tighten that down take your wrench and tighten that down now we have a video on how to bleed brakes so I'm not going to go into detail I got somebody in the, in the car he, hold, he held it down he pressed the brake down the pedal down for two, uh, two times he held, he held it down and as he's holding it down, this is actually closed the bleeder screw. I'm going to open it and you're going to see the, the fluid shoot out. Now, as you crack it open, you can see the fluid come out. And then keep holding the brake pedal down and close this. And note the, the fluid on the brake fluid. And the brake fluid on the cap on top will tell you what type of brake fluid it takes. And once you close this down, you can tell the guy inside to let go of the brake and fill it up to the max level on top with fresh brake fluid, brake fluid. You can also take a turkey baster and take out all the old fluid. So I, like I said, I have a video on how to do that, so watch my channel for that. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed this another one or two times. And put the nipple back on. You can pinch it a little bit if you want. And over here, I'm just gonna tighten down the three quarter inch bolts back here that hold the caliper onto the spindle. And then put the tire back on and we're done. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, you know you want to. Also check any box underneath and while down there you can do whatever you want to me. This plane is clown to go around.